Hello, ladies and gentlemen, you are watching the YouTube station identification of one of the best Massachusetts resident YouTubers. And I'm here live in my basement. I'm not Ken Ober, and this is me and my crazy Clooney do known as Eric Lima. And this is not MTV's remote control. This is WEML TV, channel 77, episode number 75. First day of March! Alright! It was 18 more days till the astro astrological winter is over and done. But we do have a little bit of wind chill factor coming in tonight into tomorrow morning. A little chilly. It is going to be nice and sunny, but it's going to be so chilly. So bundle up if you're planning to be outside um, doing stuff. I know I'm going to be, so let me not to uh, restock on that. So, <laughs> but I'll be okay. So, so, so today I did find the Papa Papa John's um, that is left locally um, in Fall River. All I gotta do is go down 195, take exit 11, take a left, and I'm like, and I'm driving. It's like, okay, I gotta look for it, and I'm like, oh wait a minute, it's right there. So, I got me some uh, stuffed crust pizza. But I'll tell you what, man, for lunch I ate four pieces. I'm saving the others for later, or possibly tomorrow for lunch. You never know what's gonna happen in life. Also, the first televised Red Sox spring training game just ended just about a few minutes ago, and I gotta tell you, it's a good thing that now the regulars are not in the game. It seems like for safety reasons they're shutting down temporarily shutting down uh, Xander Bogarts. Hope he's going to be okay. And if he's not, it looks like a, somebody's got to fill in for his a shortstop. Probably Morrow and Gonzalez, who the Red Sox did pick up from via free agency from the Houston Astros. Um, Alex Cora is back with the team. They just lost with a five to three was the final score in seven innings. They're usually so I think the Red Sox made five errors. They got to work on their defense, even though the regulars are not in the game except for. Uh, J.D. Martinez, uh, I think, uh, you know, they need to work on the defense. It's not, that's a very young team, and defense is going to work. I'm sure Alex Cora will probably do that. So it is, uh, so it is a good, <clears throat> uh, good, um, strange way to start off March. And a lot of things have been happening. A lot of things have been going down and everything else in between. So I, um. I gotta tell you, it has been. What a February! What a February! We, I just found out. Yeah, I think I, I think it's, I said this. The two day, the two day winter storm we that had, we had a couple weeks ago, from Thursday uh, Thursday to Friday, total um, inches in Dartmouth was seven and a half inches of snow. And, but it says like every two inches, two or three inches, we went out there and shoveled up, and then what is it? Um, New Bedford back here had. Five inches of snow, so I, uh, so I, I uh, you know, you know what? It is amazing how we get two inches low because I think we're right near the water too, and that we and that could hit the totals up. But right around three to six, we got a little bit of sixty-eight. You know, you know, sixty-eight in some uh, in some isolated spots. We'll probably be an isolated spot, but that's okay. We have, you know, but huh, obviously if you look outside if you live here locally here in the south coast. Most of that six, six, eight inches is almost, it's all, almost gone, if not all gone. There is some pi uh, piles of snow left over, though, in some areas, especially at, uh, at the mall. So um, it is something to behold, to say the least. Um, so what else is, you know, what else is going on? Not much, really. You know. So I'm just really, really excited about um, March. To Saturday's my birthday. That's the next televised Red Sox game. Can't wait. Looking forward to it. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Let me tell you. Um, I'm gonna keep. I want to keep talking and ranting and raving because this is the 13th episode of the on uh, on Cyber Swaggin. Got another uh, package from eBay this time. I wonder what it is. You know. Um, yeah, I haven't taken a vacation yet. I haven't. I, I haven't thought about it. because of the three month vac uh, three month forced vacation. Thanks to our government uh, from last year, it seems like you know I had no desire, you know. But if um, if need be, if need be, you know, I just need at least um, get a vacation after after the month of February. I felt a little bit burnt out, but uh, but m I think I feel more relaxed, you know. But we'll see what happens as in the long run as we go along here. I gotta find. I gotta find my um, drum kit, drum set, drumstick set because uh, when we're going back to rehearsal, 
and practicing so we'll see what happens and Easter is the goal and that's the uh, thing for my you know, for the music ministry that, my, that I'm involved in so we'll, we'll find out what is going on in the meantime but for right now we're taking one things at a time one day at a time practice a few songs here and there we'll see what happens alrighty then we're gonna open up this package here and see what's up and uh, oh, so I gotta be careful here uh, so it's already uh, I can just open it up with within here ah it's Sears wish book I ordered now people ask you why you order these wish books from Sears well yeah I mean they don't necessarily work anymore so to speak but here's the thing it's nostalgic reasons very nostalgic reasons so we're gonna yank this out yank this bad boy out up there it is cost me 10 bucks and I think I know why a lot of stuff ah so I look at all this stuff and I'm just I'm just thinking wow I'm, just, I'm looking at look at the, look at all this crazy you know crazy stuff in the wish book you can get anything in here in the wish book now Power Rangers wasn't huge until 1993 so you don't see I don't see any Power Rangers I see a lot of baseball cards though you know, baseball cards were huge back in the day. So, <laughs> what the heck? That's a thirty bucks for this? Wow, I didn't know there was thirty bucks back in the day. You have a baseball card locker. You got a baseball card collection. Now, toys to beat the band. The reading. You got reading. You got oh man, you got all this. Oh, you talking about nineteen ninety? Ah, here we go. You got you got the Nintendo Game Boy thing. I have that a Nintendo Game Boy carry. Let's see. You get Super Mario Land. Uh, games for the brain. And let me see. The Atari Lynx was huge back in the day. Uh, wow. I Super Mario Three. Oh, look at this. Check this out. You know, you know, check it out. Nintendo was huge back in the day. Check that. That thing, that little Nintendo organ storage center was 25 bucks. Now you sell on eBay for triple the price. Could you believe that? I don't. I cannot believe it. Just Nintendo Challenge set on. You get the Sega Genesis. You got. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. Some of the stuff. You know, huh. you got Super Nintendo. Yes, you got you got Super Nintendo, which is which is out, which is which just came out, and just wow. Ah, take that out, man. On okay, we want to see. You want to see what this. Uh, the front of the, uh, this is what it looks like, man. Unbelievable. You're talking about bringing back memories. And I'm the type of person that loves, uh, retro, uh, old school stuff. And it's really, really, uh, surreal. And, you know, many people probably ask me, why are you always, listen, I'm a retro kind of guy. I love the 80s and 90s. I love the, uh, this is it. I love the 80s and 90s. And that was number one reason why, you know, just, you know, you gotta love, you know, you know, you miss those days. You miss, you know, you you miss those days, and a lot of people are, uh, let's see if they're responding. Yeah. Let's see. And, uh, let's see. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And, um, uh, and, uh, okay, yeah, only spring training doesn't count, and it doesn't count, yeah, um, uh, you know, Red Sox are just, uh, you know, doing the thing, you know what I mean, just, you know, you know, it's just, uh, mm. And just, you know. Mm. Mm. You know, 
know, and, uh, uh, um, Uh, a lot of a lot of people have been distracting me. Anyway, uh, a lot of things have been distracting me and uh, all that. Well, just to let you know, just uh, and uh, I've always been a nostalgic type of thing. Like I said, the Gall Civil City Gallery in Taunton it just got recently um, demolished as um, we speak, and I'm sure a lot. Because a building with that big, um, still demolished more. It, it it shows, you know, and getting stuff like this just show just just shows us that all the good times that we had back in the eighties and nineties. I mean, I know all you young, you know, all you young kids out there, and all you twenty somethings don't understand um, what I'm talking about. But you know, that's been a, a lot of problem. The problem is that I think the reason why we're all sad about the eighties and nineties. So all these younger kids and all these twenty somethings, they want the past to be erased. I mean, I can understand that, you know. I can understand all right, the past is in the past and all that, but there was some of the good stuff about the past and we miss all those stuff and you know, being quarantined and all these uh, new safety measures with COVID and all that just makes us all realize we missed the good old days, you know? And it's really and it's really, really sad that people um uh, People try to erase everything of the past, and it's like it's really like I said. We, you know, I I don't know if we're gonna have a Portuguese feast or a Whale Sea Festival this year as well, and it's it's really really sad that, you know. And and now doctors are you know doctors and, and medical experts are afraid that the numbers are gonna go up again for COVID. You know I don't know why people are just so paranoid and scared, man. We just got we just gotta you know make sure we keep ourselves clean and be respectful towards others and. And if we're sick, we stay home, you know, and that's my, you know, and that's the thing, you know, we're trying to, but, um, you know, unfortunately, you got people that want to be lazy and stay out of work and forcing the, those who don't feel good to come in and all that. And, you know, it, it's really, it's really, really sad that, you know, you know usually you know, back in the day, if we're sick, we stay home, you know, sit on the couch or and lay down on the couch and possibly turn on the TV and watch some prices Right or something. And sipping on some soup, uh, eating some soup, or even uh, sipping on some ginger ale, you know. And um, it's really, really sad that people have to be like this, you know. And you know, now it's now it's come down to this, you know. And we miss the good old days of the '80s and '90s. I I do, you know. A lot of people say, "Okay, you're not from the '80s and '90s. It's all crap, and it's all gay." You know, you kids just don't, you youngins just don't understand, man. You just don't understand. But, uh, you know, I'm not here crying or anything like that. I kind of miss it. I do miss it, you know. It's really sad. But you know what, though? We try to, I try to live my life the best way I can and the best way I know how. And, uh, you know, it isn't easy. But uh, we're gonna get, I'm going to get through it and just uh, we'll be all right, you know. I'm, that's why I'm trying to have a relaxed attitude. I'm trying to have a more relaxed attitude about things. And uh, I know there's a lot of people that like to trigger me by, uh, oh, uh, you know, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's annoy... You know, let's 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 annoy uh, let's 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 annoy this guy. Let's you know let let's let's annoy uh, let's annoy him by making stupid comments and try to trigger him and emotionally and all that. You know, I'm like, yeah, that's why that's why I decided to choose to uh, delete the comment and uh, block the person first and delete the comments. I know what they're up to and I'm not falling for it. So yeah, you know, like you got to be smart. You know, you have to be super smart. Um, so. So, this is it. This is what I got from, from eBay. It cost me 10 bucks. Sears. The Great American Wish Book of Sears. 1992. Sears, man. That's, you know, you're talking about taking um, nostalgia. You know, Sears is one of the most um, iconic uh, department stores from back in the day. Now it's gone. You know, you know, you know if everybody told me like a few years ago that Sears was shut down, I said... Too much of a giant of a store, no. Uh, but now, you know, I just can't believe like a couple of years ago it happened. You know, you know, it's weird. You know, you see that building.
that used to be the Sears Auto Center and used to be the building that my dad worked at for almost 40 years until he retired in 2016. And it's so weird now. And now there's rumor they're trying to change it into a restaurant. And, uh, you know, we, we have two empty buildings on the outside uh, in Pier 1 Imports and the Sears Auto Center. We have two empty spots inside the mall, Regis and Justice. So, you know, it's, I don't know what's going on with those stores, but we'll find out eventually what has been going on. We had the other side of Sears being empty, but now it's going to be filled up with the, um, the Aldi supermarket. And it's, there was already one in Fall River. And, uh, I, I gotta tell you, it's been, uh, it has been, uh, surreal, let me tell you. So, but good way to start off March, though, huh? <laughs> you know, reminiscing and all that, and, uh, you know, it, it, I don't think March is going to be that bad, you know. It, you know, we just got to, we just got to be patient and just be careful and just, you know, and be diligent and just, uh, you know, try to do the best we can with what we got, and uh, life isn't easy. You know, life has never been easy, and, you know, Life ain't all about, you know, sunshine, sunshine, rainbows, and puppies, and unicorns, and tiptoe through the tulips, by the window, and all the good stuff. <laughs> <You know>? um, <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Uh, just, you know, we just got to learn how to hang in there. I think I think what we learned about the um, the 80s and 90s, from the 80s and 90s, and basically... Uh, Tiffany Amber Thiessen said it best, as Kelly Kapowski of Saved by the Bell, when life hands you lemons, make lemonade. And as we, you know, we've done that in the 80s and 90s, now we do, we're doing that today, you know, and that's about the reason why we are just chill about a lot of things, you know. We're just chill, you know. So, we'll find out what's going on. I'll find out what's going on. i got to talk to my boss about how many vacation hours I have left to use up so I can, uh, Use them by May 1st, so I can just, uh, you know, request some vacations, and I'm probably going to just chill out and relax, and just lay down, and just, just chill, you know, do more videos here on YouTube, and all that good stuff, and, and then that three-month quarantine was the main reason why I was able to reach 1,000 episodes last year before Thanksgiving, that was the ultimate goal. Uh, what's my ultimate goal for a thousand episodes this year? I don't know if I can. Re I'm gonna, I know it'll be hard to reach that this year, but um, so it'll be a lot of fun. So I'll see how many episodes I'll reach this year, and uh, we'll find out um, what the story is. So, um, okay, that's all the time we have on this show. Episode number seventy-five, uh, Cyber Swagon number thirteen, uh, the Sears Wish Book. Great American Wish Book of Sears, 1992. Cost me 10 bucks on, e on eBay. Really cool thing. You know, if you like nostalgia, pick, pick one up. I know you're not going to buy anything off that. I was wondering Amazon and eBay. That's pretty funny, isn't it? You know, you go on Amazon or go on Amazon or even eBay and find a catalog. You know, hey, this is, this is what brought me memories back in the day, man. So, uh, I'll see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful day and just... Um, I'll see you on episode number 76. Remember, this Saturday is my birthday, and for the Saturday Super Starcade, it's gonna be Saturday. It's gonna be Sa uh, Sega Saturn Day. Saturn Day. Um, gonna play some Night Warriors, Dark Stalkers Revenge, the second installment in the uh, Dark Stalkers trilogy. Um, I have the third. I have the third one, but it's, it's the Japanese version, and um, I do have Dark Stalkers three for the PlayStation. So. That will be a birthday and a birthday special episode as well. And um, tonight's Monday Night Raw, the big title match. The Miz defending the WWE Championship against Bobby Lashley. I personally believe it will be Lashley's time. It is time for Bobby Lashley to become champion. That's why we came back. This is his opportunity. I say I'm sick of Miz holding the belt. Let Lashley get it. All right. It's his time. He's worked hard. He's earned it. All right. That's my personal opinion. All right, um, I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful day, wonderful night. Stay warm tomorrow. It's going to be a cold one, possibly the coldest day. The high will be 33. And be careful out there because there's going to be some black ice there. All right, I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and night.